our drama club and Henrico High School produced Sister Act the Musical. <laughs> I grew up watching a lot of VHS tapes. I'd watched the Whoopi Goldberg movies with my parents a couple times. One of them that we had was Sister Act. I was like, oh, this is actually a really good show. And the acting was just so, so funny. I, I played Dolores Van Cartier. AKA Sister Mary Clarence. It was a really fun role. Like, top of show, I got to be this kind of like sassy showgirl. I got to perform in a club and I witnessed this, this murder that my boyfriend did. Oh, I saw nothing just now. And I have to go on a run, go to a police station, and I have to hide out. Mr. Superior, this is Dolores. Dolores Van Cartier, Addison Cartier. Thank you, Mother Superior, for letting her stay here for a whole month. What? A, a month? month? This is the perfect place? Uh, I transformed from Dolores to Sister Mary Clarence. Uh, sisters, allow me to introduce to you our newest member, Sister Mary Clarence, named for the St. Clarency of the end. That's right. I went from this big, bright, bold person, but I had to like contain it a little bit to be a nun. <laughs> I played the villain Curtis Jackson. Immediately from the moment I read the lines, I realized this guy is a classic abuser and manipulator. I would be lying if I said I didn't love doing my song when I find my baby because I love the spotlight. Oh, yes, I know that girl. Yeah, I need that girl. I gotta have that girl. So watch yourself, that girl. The goons are all really, really funny and talented actors. If I hadn't been with them, the show wouldn't have been the same. One of my favorite numbers might be, not one that I sing, but it's called Lady in the Long Black Dress. And it's about these goons that are trying to hunt me down, and they're singing about how they're gonna try to flirt with the nuns to try to lure me away from the convent. It is such a funny number. Shout out to Caleb, Joshua, and Mahin. If they're watching this, they were absolutely incredible. I was Mother Superior in it. It was very exciting. I love the scene before Here Within These Walls. I just think it's really fun. It's, it really shows who Dolores is as a character, and it also shows who Mother Superior is as a character. When this is all over with, you think I can borrow the space for a few weekends? Friday, Saturday, Sundays are usually booked. I also love the confessional scene. Sister Mary Clarence is a godsend. You are a visionary. The way Dolores acts in comparison to Mother Superior in that scene, because of the way it was staged, was very interesting and very fun. I can hear you smiling. God has sent me here for a reason. Take the hint. One hymn per service. But that doesn't include on <laughs> Um, I played um, Sweaty Eddie, or Eddie, he was a cop of the show. When I come around, it's so nervous you start to sweat. Now that ain't me! I call you Sweaty Eddie. I wouldn't appreciate you calling me Sweaty Eddie. I had reveals on stage, and they went really well. You can say all the names you want, but I'm finished. <laughs> 
when things make him real nervous in his name, they, he starts to sweat. The best you can is gonna get me killed. I must have been crazy to think I could ever count on you, sweaty. Dolores belittled me a little bit, and so I only felt that I was just gonna be sweaty Eddie to her. Sweaty Eddie. It was a, a dream sequence of how I was feeling inside my head. I wanted to be this guy, which the song is called, I Could Be That Guy. For my first reveal, which was a coat jacket that they ripped off of me, which went beautifully on all three nights. And I was so proud of that. And then it goes back into my cop costume because I, my dream is over. I played Sister Mary Robert. Hey, Sister Mary, uh, Mary, uh, Robert? And she is a postulant, which means that she is training to be a full nun, but she's not quite there yet. I think she's just kind of there going through the motions. And then Dolores shows up. And she's like, this is a whole new thing. And then she discovers that she can sing, and I feel like that's part of her calling. And she's like, oh my gosh, I can do this. This is a way of expressing myself. And she goes on this whole journey. It's time My favorite scene to do would probably have to be the last scene I did. Just because of how much was jam-packed in there. Because I was running around, I grab Mary Roberts, I yell for Dolores. Dolores! That was like one of my favorite scenes because I got to be all dramatic. Oh no, I was so worried about like doing that. During rehearsals, I was making sure like, hey, are you okay with this? Hey, are you okay with this? The first day we did it, I was like, yeah, you can throw me around, I don't care. I loved that part. One, two, one. Where I do come in at the end finally shows her that I could be that guy, I am that guy. I am the knight in rhinestone armor here to protect her. I'll see you later. Everybody was like so joyful. They were happy for me. They were like, yes, sweaty Eddie, you finally did it. Spread the Love Around is one of my favorite songs. It is the last song in the show. Me and Dolores have a little duet in the beginning, and then we have a quick change. It was very, this was new for me. I'd never had a quick change before. Walking out, no habit on, giant wig, giant earrings, full sparkly nun attire. Like it felt like those two parts that Dolores was arguing with herself, like, am I a sister? Am I a showgirl? Like it felt like they finally came together. She found her reason, she found her purpose. Everyone got to have their little moment, Mother Superior, Dolores, the goons, Eddie, we all had our little moment. That's when it really hit me that this was a show we all did together. Everybody that was on this was 
terrific. Like growing up watching the Sister Act movie, when I see Sister Mary Roberts, I see Trinity. It was definitely my favorite thing I've ever done in the arts, and I know that a lot of people share that sentiment. Cy Nathan? Like, come on now. Everyone likes a good hero, but everybody loves a great villain. And obviously Jaden is so talented, and for she was just so good as Dolores. Same with my friend Israel Dixon, um, Riley Hayden, like Kelsey Ridley, like these are, these are great people. I knew everybody up on that stage and off stage were there supporting me, so it felt like not only was I acting, but I, I also felt like I was surrounded by people who were nothing but loving and nothing but supportive of me, so it felt really good.